Hello, hello folks. In this second part of Epic Cappadocia Volcanism, we will look at the geology of the Iningbrite deposits. Iningbrites are very large and deadly volcanic eruptions that produce very thick deposits of ash. Rather than shooting out of a central volcanic vent, they are the results of the complete collapse of a very large magma chamber. In Cappadocia, this happened at least 10 times between 9 and 2 million years ago. The different Ingningbrite sequences intercalated with river and lake deposits can be distinguished by their colors such as pink, white or even greenish. So from this location we get an excellent view of all the stratigraphy, all the different eruptions from 10 million years to uh, 2 million years ago. And uh, you can see that they have different colors depending on the composition of the, uh, of the magma actually. Now those are not volcanic deposits, they are in fact deposited by the river and you need a lot of energy to carry all those clasts. During the collapse, the magma gets quickly exposed in the atmosphere and the volatiles that are contained in the magma fragments it in tiny particles of ash. It's a bit like shaking a soda bottle which then produces explosive foam when opened. The contact with atmosphere instantaneously quenches the magma particle to small glass shards, which when agglomerated together, produce thick ash deposits. The temperature of the ash is still a few hundred degrees when it deposits on the ground, so ash tends to weld together to form a compact rock. Some enigmatic sequences are as thick as 150 meters and some of them contain abundant fragments, whereas some are just pure ash. The thing with the enigmatic is that they are very soft rock, so soft that they can be easily cut. Nature has done it, humans have done it. The runiform aspect of the enigmatic deposit is due to the carving of the rocks by river and wind, but the little holes in it are due to human settlements. <laughs> 